Chill, chill, chill. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. I done did it again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Listen, so somebody sent me a comment. They want to know how to work well with others, right? It's very simple. I'm going to say it like this. You're going to have to have a certain style, like a JavaScript style or a Python style. Something that basically says dictates how the code is supposed to look like. That's number one, you know, because you can't have code that look completely different. I hate when I work on a project where you could actually tell there were different developers. That means there was no communication between each other. Like, a code should look almost identical to each other. It shouldn't be like, oh, somebody came in and put in their own little flavor of, you know, of how they code. No, everything should be in a pretty identical way of like the code you know of how the code should look right so if we're working with tabs for indentation right each tab is four spaces don't make it to two spaces like if you both have Adam make sure y'all both using the same ESLint you know the same ESLint settings don't be using something completely different don't be like oh yeah I'm using Airbnb's ESLint, and then the other person is using uh, this other library called Standard, right? Because Standard is completely different from the ESLint from uh, Airbnb. So stay on the same page. That's number one. Number two, make sure you use Git, right? So you both are using Git and GitHub, also, there's other things like uh, Bitbucket, uh, Mercurial, I think that's the name, how, how you say it. Um, yeah, those are different different ways of Git, right? And just to just to project manage your, your, your project, right? Just to keep things in order, you know? Because if I'm working on a file, and then you're working on a file, and if we were to use it, how people used to use it back in the days where they just upload the file to FTP, then what will happen would be is just shit get overwritten and then now I lost my code because you overrode my, my fucking file, right? Shit like that used to happen to people all the time. But now since we have Git, there's a reason why every single company uses Git. Especially when you work in, a, in large teams, right? All right, now let's go into behavior, right? All right, if you're a developer, right, and pretty much you have an issue with another developer, make sure you have good communication between each other. Just talk it out. Don't let it boil up until the point where you want to fight each other. Don't let it boil up until the point you want to say nasty things to each other because y'all still have to see each other's faces y'all both are in you know in a working environment like no matter what and at the end of the day it's like why would you want to lose your job because you lost control of like you know your temper or whatever at your job just you know be be freaking just be open to just talk to the person and be like hey listen man I know we don't like each other I know we've been having a lot of issues and at the same time, I don't hate you. I don't know if you hate me, but I'm at work right now, and I just really just want to keep it professional, and that's it. It's like, you know, we, we talk about uh, the work, and that's it. We don't have to uh, do anything more than that. That's it. That's how I do it all the time. When I don't like somebody, I just be honest with them. I just be like, listen, man, this is not personal. Uh, I'm not trying to be your best friend, and, and that's fine. And you don't need to be my best friend either. We're just here for work. We're here to get paid. We're here to do a job. We're here to finish this project. That's about it, all right? Another thing, too, for guys, right? Because, like I told a girl the other day, uh, I forgot her name. I think it's Samantha Gonzo or something like that. I think her name is like that. I'm not going to lie. She is kind of cute, whatever, right? But... You have to understand, guys, just because a girl is cute doesn't mean that you have to be out here looking like a thirst bucket, right? So, 
if a girl comes in, right, and she's looking for a job, don't say something like, oh, it's like, oh, you coming in for a front end position? Like, all the cute girls is going to Python. Like, what the fuck? Like, keep it professional, man. I understand as human beings, people forget that we're still animals. Like, people will be forgetting that we're just animals. Like, that's the reality of things. Like, like it or not, we're human beings. We're, we're fucking animals. We just happen to walk in two feet and be able to use tools. But there's not my, that much different between us and a monkey. And us and a dog. <laughs> like, that's the reality of things. Right? So, just try to keep it professional. And just be like, you know what, man? This girl's kind of cute, whatever. But this is not the place for me to be trying to holler at, at a girl here, right? Just be, be a freaking good human being, man. Don't make that girl feel uncomfortable. Don't make her feel like, oh my God, I'm a piece of meat. Just be fucking cool and be be kind of grateful that there are girls in, in this field who want to become developers because I think that's super cool you know what I mean so I feel like right now I don't I don't want to be like a white knight trying to fucking you know protect fucking every girl out here but I think we have to be you know protective in the sense of like hey we want girls to be able to say hey we had a good experience becoming a developer you know we don't want this thing to become something like uh like the other the other day I read something online where it was a, uh, a CEO from like a, a high tech company it was like oh that this mad fucking sexism and a whole bunch of shit going on in the tech industry like that shit looks bad because there's barely any girls in here so it's like how the fuck are, are, are we fucking up so bad and there's like only 7% of girls in the industry so it's like come on guys Stop being assholes, right? All right, another thing, right? It, it's just pretty much, well, I probably said it already, communication, man. You know, just be honest with people. Oh, yeah, another, another thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm driving, I'm, like, trying to keep up my, my thoughts together. But another thing is, if, if, like, for example, don't be a snake. Just because you're a good developer doesn't mean that because uh, somebody else doesn't know the same things that you that you know it doesn't mean that that person is dumb right it just means that person haven't had the time to learn it yet or hasn't put in the time as much as you to learn a, a certain subject you know in my company not everybody knows react but do i think they're dumb no because they're super smart and everything else you know what i mean like they know so much, way more stuff than me, than a lot of subjects. And I'm, you know, you gotta stay humble, guys. Like, you cannot be thinking, like, you're gonna be an asshole to people or talk shit behind their back and, like, shit is not gonna come back. It's gonna come back because it's karma, man. You know, there's people out here who are just snakes. So, like, let's say an example. Uh, I remember there was this kid who used to come in late to work, right? And then there was another developer who will always be like, oh, this person's always late. This person is this and that. Mind you, this kid fucking used to live like an hour and a half away from work, right? Like, you have you have to have some type of consideration. You can't just be a fucking piece of shit and be like, oh, this person's late all the time. Like, have some consideration, man. Like, it's fine, man. If the person stays a little bit longer, like, why are you worried about it, you know? Like, you know, a lot of people do shit like that just to fucking bring themselves up and be like, oh, I get here 15 minutes early and this person gets here 20 minutes late. Who gives a fuck, man? Mind your fucking business, you know? Don't be a snake because when you're a snake, people know that. Other developers know that. Like, let's say if I'm talking shit about a developer to another developer, basically he knows that when he's not there, I'm talking shit about him too. So that's how people know. You know what I mean? So those are the tips that I would say to pretty much learn how to work with people. Just don't be a snake. Have communication. Uh, use Git. 
use uh, a certain style guide to pretty much say how how the code is supposed to look like. Um, also, to prepare everything as far as a as a plan. Don't just start coding just to start coding. And yeah, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. I done did it again. Yeah, man, I'm trying to get out of here. Oh shit! About to have an accident. Fucking New York City, man. That's why I moved out of here, man. <laughs> Anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. And by the way, if you still haven't bought a course, buy a course when you get a chance. They're right there in my description. Those are the courses that made me into a developer. This is not courses that I'm fucking selling. These are courses that somebody else is selling. But I'm basically saying, hey, you want to become a developer? Those are the courses you got to learn. It's that simple. All right? You already know. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. Bow.